Good afternoon. Nice to see you all. Let's talk about energy and how it needs to be cheaper. Let's talk about wind power. The most limiting factor in wind power development today is height. And that is the height of bridges and tunnels over highways. My name is Otto and I'm a co-founder of Modvion, the IKEA of wind power. So, wind power is already today the cheapest form of new installation power capacity. And this is due to a consistent trend of developing larger and larger plants with larger rotors, accessing those stronger and more stable winds of high altitude. As our plants have grown though, our roads have not. So hence, the optimal diameter of a tall tower today far exceeds what is possible to transport. Hence, the industry is struggling with imperfect solutions, such as keeping the towers short, uh, thickening the metal walls, which is really expensive if you do it in metal, or modular attempts. Some of them are really ineffective in their assembly, though. Modvion towers are tall enough to be tripling the energy output. They have a modular buildup that allows them to be transported and yet efficient in their assembly. And we use the latest development in engineered woods, which allow us to design towers that are 50 percent, uh, which have a 50 percent cost advantage <coughs> and that reduces CO2 in the atmosphere while being produced. In comparison, our competition, they are still working with steel and or inefficient assemblies. Towers are a 23 billion euro market. We supply 140 meter high towers to the turbine developers at 1.4 million each. This is just below market prices, but it allows us to have uh, significant enough margins for us to break even our development costs of the just eight sold towers. 20 years ago, my co-founder David used to build competition sailboat rigs in a similar material. Then we found myself and my co-founder Joachim at, at Chalmers School of Entrepreneurship. Since then, we've patented and we have now in discussions with turbine manufacturers, wood manufacturers, power utilities and academia. We're taking in a round in about 10 months Come talk to us and let's build great stuff together. From an engineering standpoint, how do the wood towers measure up? I mean, can they handle the stress, the height compared to the steel of the other materials? Of course. <laughs> oh, stupid question. Okay. <laughs> and, what, and what about uh, uh, res resistance to weather, fire, insects, that kind of stuff? Yes, this is all very interesting and a big concern for a lot of people. Uh, solid wood materials, they actually burn very slowly because they're thick. There's no air in between. And a lot of, all of these concerns is, of course, stuff that we need to uh, take care of in the industry. But there are really tall other constructions being put up. They just put up an 18-story building in the similar material in Vancouver, for example. What's the uh, cost comparison versus the existing solutions? Yeah, for this size of tower, we have a 50% cost advantage. Okay. Well, it is not just cost, it's the fact that, that you can't assemble something that's too tall because you can't transport it? Exactly. So they have to um, thicken the walls or other how make them transportable. You can, if you thicken the walls, you can narrow it down, but it makes it super expensive. All right. Thank you. Thank you.